afternoon. Ooh. Welcome to the MediaSpeaks.com. D Lake for Prez. Today I'm joined by a very special friend, an individual. We're going to talk about MK Ultra Mind Control, the Monarch Program. Or Please welcome my very special guest, Singing Monarch. At a young, young age. Hey, uh, okay, I'd like to say thanks. Thanks, D Lake, for uh, having me on. Um, I want to um, rec- uh, voice my experiences that I had growing up that I feel are a little strange and um, not normal to the everyday experiences, I guess you could say, of uh, rehabilitating teenager rebellion. When I was about 13 years old, um, I started to question a lot about school, what they were teaching us, um, authority, government, um, religion, all of it. It's the time of age as a teenager, we're coming into being, questioning ourselves, forming our own opinions, and I was a very opinionated one. By the time I was 15, I was picked up and put into a juvenile detention facility for lying about my name. At this point, um, the state had put me on probation. When I was in juvenile hall, they held me for about two months. Um, And then two individuals came to see me. They were a man and a woman, young adults, maybe um, early 20s. 21, 22-ish. He told me that I was different than most kids, that I was special. Um, while I was in juvenile hall, they tried giving me psych eval tests. I had IQ tests, and they said that they had a place for me. It was a school for kids with IQs of 136, like mine. They'd help put me into college, that I didn't belong in juvenile hall. I was just misunderstood because I was bored in public school that um, they knew that I was interested in politics and this and that and that they would help. They just said they were going to help me and I could read whatever books I wanted and they knew that I liked to be out in the trees and the wilderness and they said that this place was in the redwoods and it would be safe and you know they sold me on this place and I was 16 years old and I was scared. All I ever did in my life was lie about my name and they came in the middle of the night around 4 a.m., 3 a.m. I didn't get to say goodbye to anybody. Um, I had to leave all my books. Um, They picked me up. They got me something to eat. We went on a plane. We flew into San Jose. Uh, They asked me if I like to read books, and I said, you know that I do. They bought me certain books because I was upset that I left my books in my cell. And then they said, okay, we're going to drive to the new, you know, where you're going to live and go to school. And as we got to where we were going, they were driving me inside of Napa State Mental Hospital. And I was sitting in the back of the van, and I looked at them both, and I said, why are you driving me into a mental institution? 